All right, it's time to meet our next man. Girls, are you ready? Yeah. Let's do this thing. Open that throttle and bring on the boy. Show, sir. Nice entrance. It's over to you. Hi, girls. I'm Paul, and I'm from Cork. Hey! <laughs> Paul from Cork. Ladies, you turned on or you turned off? <laughs> oh, that's not a bad result at all. Give him a round of applause. Okay. You have nothing to complain about with 23 lights still on, 23 beautiful ladies, yeah, and all of them well. interested in you. You're still in the game, and remember, girls, if you think this boy is fine, then let your light shine. Take a look. I know Paul through Ultimate Frisbee in UCC. Um, I've known him for about two years or so, and he's, he's quite a guy. He's probably the biggest ladies' man I've ever met in my life. He thinks himself as a ladies' man, but he's not really. He's got a, a soft, smooth center. He's a nice guy. He knows how to talk to girls, and he's he's just really, really good fun. He never is nervous or anything like that around girls. He has a thing for Michael Bublé. He's his favorite artist. He wears his Michael Bublé hot pants uh, to training all the time. Uh, they're black, and uh, they have Michael Bublé across the back in uh, pink with lips on it. Yeah! Polly, you lost 16 girls in that round with seven still remaining. Are they your lucky number seven? Let's go out and have a talk with a few of our girls. Nula, new girl, you turned off in that round. What did you see that you didn't like? Uh, well, mommy's boy thing is bad enough, but ladies man as well. And like a lot of mommy's boys, they can't find anyone as good as their mommy who'll cook and clean for them. And I'm definitely not going to do that. Okay, no commitment there. Helen. Your light's off as well, why? Uh, nothing turns me on more than a cork accent, but the ladies' man. I've been cheated on too many times to take the risk. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. How? How could anyone cheat on you? Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah, more of that, more of that. <laughs> Latanya, your light is off, why? Yeah. I tell you one thing, you're really, really good looking. I loved the tune you came down. I love Wham. I right, yeah. won't even get started on that. But you just totally disappointed me with your mate who said you're a ladies' man. I totally would have left my light on otherwise. Like, seriously, would have left my light on. Ex mate. Ex mate. Ex mate now. <laughs> yeah, speaking to him again. Drop from the Facebook friends list and everything. Yeah, yeah. And Ali, your light's still on as well. Yeah, loved the tune when you came out. That, that got me from the start. Um, the rest of your VT, other than the ladies' man, was really good. Yeah. But I'll just leave you that one thing. You say one more thing and you're out. But I'm loving it so far. One more round, one yeah, more chance from chance. Ali. <laughs> OK, one more chance. All right, Paulie, you've got seven girls remaining as we head into our third and final round. One more chance for our girls to turn off their lights. The question is, will they? You've got to impress to leave with a date. You've got 30 seconds to impress our girls. Get flirty for 30 and girls, if you're feeling nothing, hit that button. All right, so girls, uh, as you can see, I'm not a typical guy. Uh, I like to try things outside the box, like ultimate frisbee, skimboarding, surfing. Uh, I've skydived in Australia. Uh, but I also like to challenge myself with things like triathlons. And uh, I kayaked across Ireland uh, three years ago for cancer research. Um, so I definitely need a girl who can keep me on my toes. And uh, if you find yourself breathless on a date with me, Mr. Lifeguard, I'll bring you back to life. Seven still remaining, Paul. Well done. That means he's got a date. This is the best bit, because now, sir, now, the power is in your hands. It's time to whittle. You've got to get out there and whittle it down to just two ladies. Turn all the rest of the lights off, leave two girls still standing. It's time we had ourselves a whittling. Away you go, Paul. Right, audience, let's... give him a hand. Who should he turn off? Who should he leave off? Who should he turn off? Five lights for me. Five lights, you've got to turn off. Sandra's there. She's gone. Audience, who should he turn off? Come on, we'll give him a hand, give him a bit of help. It's not looking good for me. Oh, no! Kaya, Lauren, Sarah Jane. Hey. Uh, hello? Lauren's gone. It's between Sarah 
Shane. Fire. Two more to go. Come on, boy. Turn off two lights for me. Turn off two lights. Arlene is gone. Karen's gone. Give her a round of applause. Come and join me, my friend. We've got Sarah Jane. We've got Fire. Two beautiful ladies, it's not going to be an easy decision for you to make. They know a lot about you, sir, but you don't know that much about them. We've got one question, and one question only, to put to our two ladies, and depending on how they answer, you decide on who you're taking out tonight. Paul, take it away, and good luck. All right, so, girls, if you were an alien, and you could abduct anybody in the world, who would you pick, and why? Oh! A very deep answer, a very deep question there, Paul. Uh, Sarah Jane, if you were an alien... <laughs> and you could abduct anyone in the world, yeah. who would you abduct and why? Well, of course it'd have to be Paul. How we can surf the sky together and look at the stars. Ah! <laughs> and fire. Oh, my God, mine's awful. Oh, don't hate me for this, but it just popped into my head. I'd probably abduct my worst enemy and torture them. I know, it's awful. Oh, don't you? All right, OK. <laughs> and do you have someone in mind for that fire? Yeah. You do? All right, oh, God, love them. All right, OK. <laughs> Uh, we've got a pair of space cadets here, ready to abduct someone. It's between Sarah Jane and Fire, and it's going to be a difficult decision for you to make, sir. I do need to tell you, before you make that decision, that one of our girls plays tricks on guys with her twin sister. <laughs> Get out there and turn one off and take one out, Paul. Good luck. Audience, who should he go for? <laughs> Sarah Jane and Paul, you guys, Paul, are you happy? Yeah, very happy, yeah. Sarah Jane? Yeah, very happy. Delight. Oh, delighted. Speechless, delighted. <laughs> guys, before you head off on your date, Paul, I need to tell you, the fire is the girl that's constantly playing tricks with her twin oh. on people. And you're heading off on your date tonight. You're going somewhere you can see all the stars. That's because there's a massive hole in the roof of... Shifter! <laughs> I'm really glad he picked me. We've got so much in common and yeah, we're going to shoot for the stars tonight.